But with me, I have a lady that we might call a kingmaker with that deciding vote uh, from the NFP, who is you know, has been appointed as the MEC for social development in the province of KwaZulu-Natal, which is Mali Ishinga. Mam Ishinga, thank you very much for your time. Let's talk about that deciding vote that you decided to give this block of parties uh, uh, that, uh, uh, you know, constitute uh, the government of provincial unity. Uh, yes, um, it will be known that from 2011, since the inception of the, the NFP, we, we have always, uh, at the provincial level, even at uh, local municipalities, ha had that uh, uh, kingmaker uh, status. But we are grateful to, to the voters, uh, our supporters, the leaders uh, in Guazulu Natal for trusting NFP uh, with, with, with their vote. Uh, we were somehow disappointed. Uh, with how we were progressing when IEC was busy calculating but at the end we got this one seat and then uh, it turns out uh, it had to decide who rules the province. You've been appointed to one of the most critical uh, portfolios which is social development here in the province of KwaZulu Natal. What is your outlook uh, to the appointment, how, are you, how have you received the news and what becomes your immediate point of departure in terms of uh, executing your duties as entrusted by the Premier, Tamin Duli? Uh, I am really humbled uh, for the, by the appointment uh, today and, you know, realize the, the, uh, the huge responsibility uh, on my shoulders. But then, uh, as the National Freedom Party, uh, our policies, our non-negotiable policy is issues on women, women development and women involvement uh, in, in leadership and also taking uh, services to the people in rural areas. So, the first and foremost thing with the Department of Social Development will be to be involved uh, with the programs. We will ensure that the NGOs and CBOs who are doing great work out there are supported by the department, but not only in terms of funding only, but we will follow the money to give them support to see where they are lacking or even where they need uh, extra help. But secondly, you will know with the province of KwaZulu Natal in terms of gender-based violence, you know, it's is sky high. We will look at those issues and we will take them head on to make sure that women are, are protected. But, but also where there are cases, we will put pressure to make sure that uh, uh, those are, uh, are resolved. Uh, children uh, these days, they, they are killed, they, they are raped even at preschool level. We, we will make sure that, uh, we look after the, the kids. But the, the other big thing is the issue of uh, young people uh, involved in drugs. Uh, as the department we will ensure that we, we look into that because the challenge now that the communities are complaining about is that the, the rehab centers are inaccessible unac uh, like others. They, they charge a fee and they don't have money to pay. So those are the programs really that we will take uh, head on to see that uh, the department reaches out to the marginalized and vulnerable. Thank you very much. Thank you.